In this video, I am going to show you how you can switch from format.nvim to null ls.nvim for formatting because format.nvim now it has been deprecated. So I'm just using null ls uh, for formatting, but it is not only for formatting, but you can also get code actions, diagnostic, hover and completions with it. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, delete format.nvim and let's install null ls. First, so open your plugins file <coughs> okay i'm going to find format.nvm and i'm going to change this uh, to null ls.nvm okay now config let's add uh, null dash ls dash config and also let's create one new folder called null dash ls config slash init dot lua okay and also uh, now let's create one local for null ls so local null underscore ls you can't use uh, hyphens for uh, variable names uh, i mean local names so we have to use an underscore okay so null underscore ls equals uh, require a null and null ls okay and also we want the formatting so it is a little bit long so we can just uh, shorten it with a variable name so local formatting equals null underscore ls dot built-ins dot formatting okay now uh, let's create one uh, let's uh, call the setup function for null ls and uh, null ls dot setup sources equals all uh, let's do sources equals okay now formatting dot i'll show you where you can find all the formatters diagnostics formatters and diagnostics so you can go to uh, this link over here see built-ins okay it is loading mm, yes it has been uh, it has loaded now and now all the options are there uh, here and uh, whatever we can use in formatting all of the formatters are there for uh, assembly is there auto pep uh, for python it is all there but uh, in the nfs repository i have added a lot of formatters so let's see there uh, github.com slash acronym slash nfs okay now in the lua folder and null ls config slash init dot lua we have all of these things so we can copy them and add it in the sources section okay now i'll save this and here it is using prettier go format black shell format clang cmake and dart lua format also and even i sort is there and code spell is also there code spell is for um, fixing your uh, spelling mistakes in markdown files uh, right now i'm only using in markdown you can use it for any other programming languages also uh, or any other file type uh, like txt also we can add uh, dot txt uh, i'll i don't use txt files so i'm not going to add that you can add that if you want uh, and also if you see here there is one on attach function and what this will do it will um, it will allow you to format the document on sale so here uh, vim.cmd uh, there is one auto command uh, when uh, before writing the buffer it will just call the formatting and now i think uh, that's it for uh, the configuration part now we can restart neovim and do packer sync which will remove format.nvim and it will install um, null ls okay now if i restart neovim and let's open one file 
and uh, let's open our telescope config <coughs> now if i save this it formats automatically and all of the things that we have uh, used here in our null ls configuration uh, all those file types will be uh, formatted but you also need to have the formatter installed so if you want to use uh, black you can click on the link here <coughs> and then you can uh, you also need to install it so here they have given installation and usage uh, you can just do pip install uh, this or uh, on mac os brew install black will also work uh, here pip install black is there um, you can install it with pip pip3 or whatever you can use your package manager also in linux and that's how you can install the language i mean formatters and also it has a list of diagnostics which are available uh, so for ansible they have it uh, all these things are there and if you need to install code spell you can go here and you can find out how ca you can uh, install it you can do it by doing pip install code spell <coughs> now also all these diagnostics are there uh, if you want like uh, flake it or something like that eslint will also work you can add eslint and editor config also Ele editor config many people use editor config you can use that but uh, in my opinion all the normal language servers they are enough uh, for the uh, diagnostics and uh, diagnostics and all the other things that the language server can provide so that's it for this video if you learned something new from this video then like the video and also subscribe to my channel and that's it bye bye